Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So for all that's given this inequality, 3 times 1 minus 2x is greater than 3 minus 6x. Okay? Well, my first step is I want to distribute that 3 across. So 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times a negative 2x is a negative uh, 6x here, right? Distribute 3 across is greater than 3 minus 6x. So let's combine our like terms. Um, let's bring our x's over to the right, plus 6x to both sides. And I'm going to subtract a 3 to both sides. Leave me, well, 3 minus 3 is 0, right? And these cancel. It's greater than negative 6x plus 6x is also 0, right? So now I have 0 is greater than 0. Is that a true statement? Is that a true statement? No, it's not, right? Zero is not greater than zero. Zero is equal to zero, but zero is not greater than zero. Because it's not a true statement, that's false, right? We then would say no solution. Meaning, it doesn't matter what value for x that we plug in, we're never going to get a solution that works. That's a true statement. So how do we graph that? Well, I make my number line here. Um, I don't know, fives again. Five, ten, fifteen negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Well, our graph is nothing. There's no graph that we can have here because there's no solution that makes this, uh, makes this work. Okay, So my graph matches my final answer of no solution. So let's recap. We're given 3 times parentheses, 1 minus 2x and parentheses, is greater than uh, 3 minus 6x. Uh, I distributed the 3 across, giving me 3 minus 6x is greater than 3 minus 6x. Okay? Combine my like terms, I added a 6x to both sides, eliminating it there, and subtracted a 3 to both sides, eliminating it there. But then I ended up eliminating both sides, right? Because negative 6x plus 6x is 0, and 3 minus 3 is 0. <coughs> so I have 0 is greater than 0, which is not a true statement, right? So it's not a true statement, all right? We would write no solution, meaning there's no value for x that we can plug in that makes us a true statement. So when I graph it, I have nothing to graph. There's no graph here, okay, because there's no solution. So our graph matches our final answer of no solution. 